Rice cookers. To remove your cluster bezel, there's two screws here. You're gonna need a short screwdriver. And then once they're removed, you just pull on the bottom here. Once the bezel's off, there's just a Phillips here, a Phillips here, one down in this corner, and one over in this corner. Last one. Once you got the screws out, just pull it forward. Like so. Get this corner out. Okay, once that corner's out, we can start unplugging things. So there's green one on one side, there's two blues, and a yellow one, which is your SRS. So this is the cluster out of the car. Obviously it's automatic, uh, but the lens, the actual cover for the, the actual plastic cover is nice and clear. So we want to keep that. We want to keep 200,000 kilometers because that's kind of tied to the, the chassis, uh, but we want to get rid of that. So we've got options. Uh, one of them being a manual cluster from an RD1 CRV. And this one actually has a 220 kilometer hour speedo, which is quite interesting. It's got 300,000 Ks on it. And we've got rid of the automatic selector shit over there. Same rev limit, 8,000. And then we have a EK Civic. And this one's 220 as well. 8,000 rev limit. Uh, they're all basically pretty similar, apart from the auto one being 180 kilometers an hour instead of 220. I think I want to go with the orange clusters. So what I'll try and do first is we'll pull this apart and see if I can change the kilometers to 200,000 or 200,444. I can get that turned back then we will we'll just run with that we'll use this entire cluster and I'll transfer this shitty broken lens off of here and put on the, the good one from the automatic if I can't run that back the other option would be just to change this which I'm pretty sure I can do so we take this one out Take this all apart. I'm pretty sure I can actually take that gauge face out of there and then swap in this one. And that would get rid of that silly automatic stuff and it would leave the Ks untouched. But it would also not have 220 kilometers an hour, which is pretty suck. But I mean, who the hell would really want to do 220 in a CRV anyway? Hmm. All right, well, let's take this apart and uh, make a decision once we've got it pulled apart. So to take the plastic cover off, there's just a few tabs here. Just push, push down and then push forward, like so. Just keep going around the body of it. There we go. And then there's one over here. Nice. There's some more clips here, plastic ones, very similar to the lens cover. Just push, push in and then out to unlock them. Looks like there's a couple tabs there as well. All right, so you just push these clips down and then separate just like with the lens cover. It looks like this needs to be removed first. So to remove these bulbs, you just twist them. Here we go. And 
And then this one just pops off by the looks of that. Oh, good. So that's what it looks like with the covers off. So we're going to be pulling this one out and seeing if we can put the K's back down to what the chassis is. So we'll just get a screwdriver on here. With those four screws removed, we can now pull out the odometer and the speedo. Now on the odometer here, on the mileage counter, there is this metal rod. It's being held in with a little plastic clip type thing. Now apparently what we do, we just lift up on it. I'll separate that. And break it. Cool. That's what I like to see. Okay, and with those little cogwheels pushed forward, we should now be able to make adjustments to the distance. There we go. There we go, got it set to 244. Listen properly, 700 and 69,820 <clears throat> to, to 200,444 Ks just like the one that's in the chassis now and then to lock that in place you just push this pin back in with these cogs that little metal rod there that has to go back into that little retaining clip I broke one on this side but uh Seems to be holding, so she'll be right. And then put the screws back in. I can squish this back in. And we just got to put this bulb back in. Cool. And then the last thing to do is just transfer the lens over. Got the good lens cleaned up, so now let's just pop it off. Yeah. Do not remove. Anti-tamper tape of some sort. Fuck you. I will remove. Void. Warranty void. Probably something they did when they imported it into the country. Not gonna worry about it. And just like that, transfer it over. Ooh. And there we have it. Manual cluster, 220K an hour with the correct Ks. All right, well, let's chuck it in the car and be done with it. And there it is, new cluster installed. I'm, uh, at the moment, I'm halfway through installing a handbrake system in this car, so this will be the next videos to come up. And if you want to see some old content, there's a video on how to install that JDM upper storage for the dash that replaces the airbag.
Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, you know, make sure you subscribe if you want to help. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. And uh, anyone who's still sticking around, here's some uh, bonus shit for next week or next couple weeks. Got a pile of exhaust stuff, including this twin loop muffler. Should go pretty hard, eh? And if you're new to the channel and wondering what the hell's going on, We've done a Japanese K24A3 200 horsepower variant swap into this RD1 chassis. It's keeping all wheel drive. And next week we'll be doing how to upgrade brakes and how to convert from rear disc, oh sorry, from rear drum to rear disc. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and uh, got that bell thing ticked and you won't miss the upcoming content because we're getting pretty close to this. Uh, this driving. What a mess.